I started off with a lightweight oil-free moisturizer and I'm following up applying a light to medium coverage foundation. This is Max Face and Body in N4. This is the MAC Pro product for face and body. It's their acrylic paint in pure white. I am applying this with a MAC blending brush in number 224. You're going to want to make two elongated triangular shapes coming down the sides of the bridge of your nose and carrying across to your temples in an upward swipe. I'm using a translucent powder to set the upper half of my face where I just applied the white paint. You can use any brand of translucent powder that you have. This is really going to be where we start to bring our dear face alive. You can use any contouring kit that you have. You're just going to alter your placement a little bit higher for this particular look. Instead of accentuating underneath your cheekbones like you typically would in a highlight and contour, you want to work above them. So you're on the tops of the cheekbones working upward to the temples and the high points of your forehead. This next step is one of the most important steps in really creating that sweet little fawn face. You're going to be anchoring your nose by starting at your brows. You're going to want to come in from your inner brow and trace just on the top of your nose. The wider your lines are, the wider your nose will look. So you really want these to be closer together. I'm moving into filling in my brows here. You can use whatever brow products that you typically use. I am using Max Fluid Line in Dip Down. When you're finished filling in your brows, take a moment to blend in your brow color to the lines that you just filled in on your nose. I apologize here for bringing the mirror up. I needed to see a little better, but I'm just lining the upper lid of each eye with a slight extended cat eye in the corners. Here I'm just blending out a little bit more of that white acrylic color onto my eyelids. I'm using Matte Concealer Brush number 242 with Fluid Line in the color Dip Down to create my deer nose. You have to be careful when creating your nose because if it's too rounded on the top, it can appear like a dog. And if it's too pointed, it will look cat-like. So drawing a little M shape on the top is the best way to control it and filling it in from there. I didn't figure that out until later into this video, so you'll be able to see that in a bit. Here I'm adding some black liner on the very tip of my nose to create some dimension, and it actually ends up making it look a little bit wet. I'm gonna take that same black eyeliner that I just used on the tip of my nose, and I'm going to extend my eyeliner toward the center of my nose. You wanna make sure that it's more horizontal than curved. If your liner comes down, it's going to look a little more cat-like. To complete your eye look, you can apply some mascara. You can also add a pair of false lashes for a more dramatic look. I am now adding some of the MAC white acrylic paint onto my chin. You'll want to apply this in a half moon shape and be sure to blend out your edge as well. I'm following the same shape of the contour with my dots. You can use a rounded blending brush like I did or you can use the back end of your brush to make smaller, cleaner dots. For the lips, I chose a deep dark plum lip liner in Night Moth and you want to only line your upper lip. This is going to be your focal point for the mouth. I filled in my upper lip using a MAC lipstick in the color of Smoked Purple. You can either add some ears or antlers to finish off your look. I chose to make mine with some branches. 
here's the completed look. I hope you guys liked the video and be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below what makeup tutorials you'd like to see in the future.